Hello. Today is Sunday. Um, I have been coming on these, making these videos, and um, I don't think I was doing um, what I was should have been doing, which is coming on here and speaking more about love and how the Lord loves us. You know, but instead I was coming on here pointing the fingers or telling you about the world. And I, I'm kind of tired of doing that. Um, not unless I have to speak about something that's going on in the world. But I'm tired of uh, like coming on here pointing the fingers. I just really wanted everybody to be aware of what's going on in our world. <clears throat> and um, if there's something that we can do about it, you know, let's uh, get together and try to do something about it. Because I'm just so tired of living in a world... Where all this evil, this evil is, you know. Um, and the only reason why I say this is because I've been here for 55 years. And so I have seen a lot. And it, it, I know it's people that's my age or older and they have seen a lot, you know. But I don't know if they tired like I am. I just, I just want us all to be able to get along no matter who we are what we've done. And, um, you know, just to experience that real true love that the that the, the almighty uh, father God is um, has blessed us with or you know is allowing us to receive and his love is the greatest you know because we wouldn't know about love unless um, uh, unless we know him because he is love and he's the perfect example of love so so y'all yeah, want to come on here and talk about love you know maybe that'll make a difference um, and so um yeah, he, he, the, the Lord, he, I, I don't want to just speak about myself. I want to speak uh, on a basis of, as a whole, you know, everybody. Because if I speak about myself, then people might think that I'm being conceited or that um, I'm thinking that I'm set apart or something like that. And that's not what I'm trying to come on here and, um, and, and uh, to let you know. Um I just want everyone to, um, I mean, yeah, I just want everyone to experience his love, like the love that he has shown me, because I I thought I knew about love, and uh, but then again, I knew um, growing up that I misused love, and, um, and I guess that's because I didn't know the true meaning of love. I always wanted it, you know, the real, true, authentic love, so... I, I so I guess I um didn't have that at that time and um so I guess I just misused the other type of love you know uh, I mean you know it's like different levels of love because you know you love your parents one way you can love your friends another um your your spouse your you know your boyfriend girlfriend whatever you can love them in different ways and you can love the Lord in in you know in a different way too so it's, it's different levels of love so um so I um, I misused it because I didn't think it was the real love. So, you know, I wanted to play around with it. But uh, really, my whole life, I was on search for that true, authentic love. And um, I found it in Jesus. You know, I found it in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because, again, like I said before, He is the true, perfect example of love. He, We love Him because He first loved us and taught us about love. Um so, but I, I know I do, you know, I, I want to speak on behalf of everyone because, you know, that's what we, that's what we have to do. Uh, I don't want to be sounding like no narcissist or anything like that by including us all, you know, cause I don't, I have heard people, uh, uh, you know, the definition of what that is. <laughs> I was just saying, not putting anybody name in it or anything like that. So I, I don't want to come across as being anything like that. Um, I just want to come across as being Lisa, you know, somebody who's curious about uh, where we at and what we're supposed to be doing and, and who God is, you know. Um, and and I'm sorry if I do offend people by me speaking so highly about God, but that that's, that's what I'm going to do, you know. Uh, but I'm not coming on here trying to offend anybody because we all... Um, just like we have our free will, you know, we, we have the right to choose what we choose to believe in. And I'm not saying somebody else shouldn't uh, believe, I mean, that somebody should believe in what I believe in and vice versa. So, um, um, so I'm just telling you my views, um, my beliefs, 
and I and I do believe in him and he has shown me a lot so that's why I believe in him the things that he has taught me and not only myself but he would teach everybody else the same things because I don't want to I'm not no lone rider you know it's many people out there who are who you know they, they already know these things you know, so um, again, I'm not trying to act like I'm the only one that know this stuff. You know, we all should should know it, really. Um, I might be the last one to know. I who who knows? But um, um, so yeah, I'm not trying to come on here and, and think I'm something special or anything like that. I know I am different, <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm different. Not different from uh, from everyone else, but you know, some people. Who, prefer to go with the crowd and I prefer to go the other way so I'm just saying different in that way you know like some people are loners so I'm based I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like a, a, a butterfly but sometimes I like to fly by myself uh, you know that means like I like to jump in, in the crowd sometimes and meet, mix and mingle but only for a short period and I go off to myself so um, so I, I like being different you know I like not following the crowd always um, so um so yeah so he has taught me so much and and the way that he teaches me is so is so beautiful and again we all can uh we we all can get the same treatment it's not just me uh i'm i'm a hey, you are welcome to go to him at any time and ask him for the same thing you know i choose to to want those things because um a lot of things in life just don't satisfy me anymore so um, so I want to, I'm curious, so I want to know more about life, you know, not just what we can do in life, but uh, why were we created to have a life, you know, and and what is our main purpose, you know. Um, so that's how, I, that's how, you know, the Lord came to me, you know. I mean, I, I was searching for him, but... Um, he he came to me because he because he I, I suppose I can't speak for him so I suppose he's seen that I I was having a hard time um, trying to uh, deal with life not in the point that I was ready to leave you know this earth or anything like that but in the sense of um, I, I just wasn't satisfied or happy with uh, where my life was going. It was, it was like it was at a dead end. So he, he met me there and uh, he pulled me in and uh, started showing me his way. So, and I like it, you know, it, it has been, uh, I'm not going to say it's uh, been all smiles through the whole time, but um, as long as I know that he's here to uh, to get me through each and every moment, my, my low points, and um, there to celebrate the high points with me, um, and just to, to walk me through all, you know, each and every step of the way. So he's with me each and every step of the way. So, um, so yeah, um, and I'm, I'm still learning. It's not like I, I know everything or anything like that. I'm still learning. It, you know, it, it's a journey. I can't learn anything overnight and neither, well, I don't know if anybody else can. I mean, maybe, maybe some things we can. But uh, maybe some people out there who can learn things overnight. I, I don't know, but I just know that mine's is not an overnight process, and um, and it takes time to to try to change. And um, so yeah, so I was just coming on here just to express how how much he loves us, and and he really does. Even if I make a mistake, and I, I'm t my whole life I've been making mistakes, and and he has been there to um, to get me through. And he not only myself, but I. If, if you're here on Earth, uh, even the ones who who already left the Earth, um, he's he's he pulls us all through. We just don't realize it because we try to um, um, we try to think that we are in control and that we cause something to happen. You know that we are running something. And um, but but it's really him that's pulling us through, you know, when um, the, through the happy moments and the sad moments. But we have to give him credit. That's what that's the word I was trying to use before. We take the credit for things. So if we just not take the credit and just know that we just hear his vessel and that he's the orchestrator of our lives and then um, and then and give him all the credit and the glory. Um, 
But I, I again, I know the world is is full of people and different opinions and different beliefs and everything. So, to whoever you go to, you know, I mean, you, it, um, don't criticize me for what I'm saying because if you don't believe in what I'm saying, but um, this is just my opinion, my way of living. And I again, I know everyone has a, a different way of living and things like that. So uh, I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just trying to tell you. <clears throat> How <clears throat> how I feel and everything, and then how my life is, um, to each his own. Um, so yeah, I'm not coming on here uh, trying to be, you know, have no ill will towards anybody or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm. Then the reason why I said it because I I keep saying you know how the Lord does this and does that, and some other people might not think that way. And that's okay. You know, I'm not trying to tell you to believe in, in him. Um, I mean, I know before I was, but, you know, I'll tell, I'm, I'm done wrestling with all of that kind of stuff. You know, I just I just want to speak from my heart and, and say what's going on with me and, um, and, and how much he loves us all. And he really does. He really does. Uh, but you have to experience it for yourself. I mean, some people out there, I mean, a lot of people out there already know what I'm talking about. But uh, you have to experience it for yourself. Um, uh, you have to experience how great His love is. Once you once you start getting to know Him more and more, spending more time with Him, then then you would know how much He loves you. You would see because again, like I was saying, I made I made so many mistakes throughout my life, and He has always been there to pull me through. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be here today talking to you on this video. Because, uh, you know, I, I dug a lot of holes for myself and he pulled me out, you know. So, um, and, and I'm so thankful if, if you only knew uh, the things that I'd done. Like uh, when I was younger, I try to, um, I'm just going to say this much, you know, and then I'll, I'll leave it be. But um, I, when I was younger, I tried to commit suicide a couple of times. And he didn't allow it to happen because I'm still here at 55 to be able to tell you this. And um, because I didn't like the way life was then. And I still don't like the way it is, but I'm not trying to end my life. You know, I, I want to, uh, you know, to be a vessel and, and, um, and to just be led by how, however the Lord wants to lead me. Um, now, what was I going with the point? Oh, saying how how I dug a hole for myself. So he rescued me from that, you know, and he could have really punished me for what I'd done. Because uh, that's almost like a, a uh, attempted murder, but to, to myself. And he uh, and he forgave me. It's it's so many things I'd done. And he, for, he, he forgives us all. And he will rescue us all. It, but if but the only way the only reason why we don't see what he's doing is because we take too much credit for things. So again, uh, if we just open our eyes and our heart to him, we would see all that he does for us. So um, so that's all I was all I'm coming on here today to say. And uh, thank you for listening, and watching, and peace out, and goodbye.